Aquas. Welcome to your weekly love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from today, September 26th to October 11th. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be energy from someone in your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to. Keep in mind, it is energy, so it can be reverse or vice versa. Then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. So Aquas, I gotta be honest. I got some heavy energy for you. I'll, I'll take that back. I'll say serious. It's a little bit of a serious energy. I feel a sense of release happening with you, Aqua, or wanting to release, wanting to let go. It does feel like energy coming out of you. So it could be an emotional release that you're trying to, I feel like honestly resist. You just kind of have to let it happen. Some of you, it's a creative release where it's like you got all these creative ideas or you got a creative flow going and you're going to work with your ideas and getting shit going, which is awesome energy for you, Aquas. So for those out there who are experiencing that creative surge, congrats. That's an awesome place to be. But for a lot of you, I do feel like it's an emotional release. It's very watery. It's very fluid. It's very watery. Um, for some of you, it's also about letting something go. So some, it's an emotional purge. Others, it's creative surge. Others, it's about letting something go emotionally or letting something go out of your hands, okay? I know, it's a little heavy, right? It's a little heavy. I'm also getting a lot of upper chakra energy for you. So some of you guys could be experiencing just more intuitive hits or maybe you're getting downloads or a spiritual, spiritual awakening of sorts. It's going to be for some of you out there. Obviously not for all of you, but I was feeling that, so I just have to communicate that. But Aquas, whatever this release is, it feels like it's a long time coming. It feels like it's been pent up for a long time of either wanting to say something just or, or baggage you've been needing to let go of, stuff you've been needing to purge out of you or someone you've been needing to let go or go of or a situation you've been needing to let go of. Either way, it's a release. OK, it's a release, Aqua. And it, it feels good. Like you're going to feel good afterwards, even though some of you are resisting it. And again, those in that creative surge, it's more about um, going into something that makes you really happy. OK, as opposed to like releasing something heavy and emotional. Some of you could be a creative cathartic release, like art therapy or music therapy or something of that nature. Um, then I heard Oasis, so I thought that was really interesting. So Aquas, with Oasis, I feel like it's about safety. Like, it's okay to release this. It's okay to let this go. It's okay to let this happen. Whatever it's trying to happen, release-wise with you, it's okay to let it happen. It's okay. It's okay. It's safe. Because like when I got Oasis, I was like, wait a minute. What's going on here? I was like, because Aqua's letting shit go, not like, not holding, you know, it's like Oasis to me is like that saving grace in the middle of like the shitty, shittiest times, right? But it remind they actually reminded me about like water retention because it's a very watery release that I'm sensing with you. So for like with water retention, when we retain water, it's because our bodies think we're not getting enough water or we're not going to get more water anytime soon. So our bodies hold on to all that liquid, right? But then the second you start giving yourself more water, it all releases, right? Your body lets it go. It's that kind of energy where it's like, it's okay to have this release, Aqua. I know it's intense. It's a little heavy. It's a little serious, but that is what I was getting intuitively. So let's go ahead and go into the pre-shuffle and get the cards calibrated to your energy using Spellcaster's deck as the primary here for you guys. Okay. Any messages for Aquarius? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11. Hmm. Some of you will be spending a lot of time in meditation about this. Some of you will, especially for those going through an emotional purge or having to let a situation or a person go, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 10th. I mean, oh, 11th. Whoa. October 10th might be a big day for you guys. <laughs> that was weird how that came out. All right. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to October 11th. <laughs> 11th, please. It's funny. Keep in mind from the 4th to the 8th is going to be a nice little peaceful time because Mars and Venus will both be in Libra. And I'll be talking about this tonight on the live uh, for the new moon in Libra energies, okay? Um, but the first half of October is going to be a nice little break from the energies we've been experiencing. Then it's going to get a little bumpy and amped up with Mercury retrograde pre-shadow energy, then eventually retrograde energy and full moon in Aries, okay? So keep that in mind. Hmm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, I just heard accountability. I just heard accountability. That's going to resonate for some of you. Let's see what we get here, Aquas. Hmm. 
Yeah, they keep showing me an oasis. It's safe to have this release. It's safe to let it go. I know I'm sound like a broken record. They just want me to keep saying that over and over. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius. Wow. Talk about letting go. We have Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the hair font in reverse Taurian energy. This is breaking away from a, a bond, an agreement, a contract, a marriage, a commitment. Breaking away from that aggressively at that aggressively at that it's okay to let this go aqua if someone's breaking away from you it's okay to emotionally emotionally purge and release that because it's going to be very healing for you it's okay it's okay it's okay why do they want me to keep saying that over and over oh let's see here knight of wands sag energy could also be aries or leo Ooh, 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 ooh. okay aquas this is interesting i'm getting two different people here <laughs> I just want to <laughs> just like that I'm getting two different people here oh this feels like a fight oh mm. I don't like this energy um I'm sorry I, I don't I don't I don't I don't like this energy I do not like this energy aquas whether you're breaking away here or you're meeting this person who's breaking away from you or a commitment or an agreement of some kind there's basically someone breaking away and someone being like fuck no okay but Aquas, with all that energy I was picking up of it's okay to let it go, it's, a, it's okay to let them go. Aqua, it might not be worth the fight. Whatever this is, it might not be worth the fight. It might be just better to cut your losses or like, you know, if you're the one wanting to break away, then just try to break away in a calm, peaceful manner. Either way, they want me to keep telling you it's okay to have this release or it's okay to let this go. They want me to keep saying that like over and over and over again. And I do feel a confrontation happening here, but I feel really strongly it's a confrontation that doesn't need to happen. It feels really combative, really combative, very dramatic, very aggressive, and I don't really like it. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now till October 11th. Oh, I think I got a peeker. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Nope. Oh, okay. Just saw an iguana. Ooh. Yeah. Ten of Swords. Gemini energy. Yeah, this is a fight. This is a fight. This is a fight. I, I almost feel like who can end it first? <laughs> It's kind of how this feels. Who, who's going to end it first? Who's going to break away first? Who's going to end this shit first? Someone's feeling really hurt over here. Yeah, so this is someone wanting to break away and wanting to communicate that, but wanting to do it very swift, very fast, very, very abrupt. This person is coming through with pain, knowledge of the ending, and a little bit more of, a, of aggression. And we've got fire with air just meeting each other. Very combative. Very, very combative energy. Aquas. Look, sometimes... Sometimes you just got to pick your battles, right? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you just got to pick your battles. And if someone wants to leave, they want to leave, right? If you want to leave, you want to leave. Or if something is just becoming, you know, not nourishing like the desert, <laughs> right? Release that, release that. And this release that's happening might also be sparking the argument as well. Because for some, I do feel it's an emotional release. And there's a lot of anger here. There's a lot of anger. There's a lot of aggression. Aggression from both sides, but this is more anger fueled. This is more like, like direct, aggressive. But this feels like more angry, more fiery. Wait, what? what, what? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Um. Oh, I thought my camera was freezing. Anyway, Aqua. So keep that in mind. Whatever's going on here between you and this person, or if this is something you're witnessing, it could be something you're witnessing because this is a lot of volatility. One is really, really angry and one is just wanting to aggressively be direct and get out. Okay. Oh, oh I knew there was a peeker. <laughs> Four pentacles, cappy energy. Someone's holding on tight. Someone's holding on really tight to this. I feel like it's this person, Aqua, whoever you are in the situation. It's this person. This person's holding on really tight for dear life. Um, they're not wanting something to end and they're putting up a fight against it. But I feel like it's going to come down to a moment of realiz realizing that, um, oh geez, of realizing, oh, how did that happen? <laughs> Hold on a second. How did that happen? Okay. I feel like in this argument, it's going to come down to a moment of, I'm not letting this go. I'm not letting this go. Very angry, very fueled, very fiery. This person just communicating truth, maybe, maybe even not being that tactful about it, just wanting to break an agreement or break a contract. And then this person is finally going to realize, I can't stop them. Let me end it first. You know, it feels very petty. It feels like a very petty energy there. So Aquas, 
<laughs> let's go ahead and get into your reading here okay uh for those who are new to my channel and new to tarot please know these are very general readings not all messages are for everyone as you heard me set the intention messages come through for those who need them okay so sometimes it's gonna be you sometimes it's not gonna be you and it's okay if it's not you right there's plenty of other readers here on youtube that are fabulous so please check them out okay we are working with energy as i said before so messages can be reversed or vice versa so take that as it resonates um also guys don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy okay mm. any messages for my aquas Any messages for my aquas? Um, ooh, that was weird. Any, that was weird. My eyes just got really blurry. Um, aquas, you or this person might be having trouble seeing the reality of the situation here, or intuition might be really off. I feel like someone's off base. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, off base. Someone's really off base in their thinking or what they're saying, like really out of line, really out of line, or just not rational. Yeah, thank you. They're not, not rational. Someone's not rational being rational here. Okay. Um, oh. Oh, I'm getting the dynamic. Okay, I'm getting the dynamic. Someone's being very irrational, not thinking clearly, not really seeing the situation clearly. I feel like this is the person that's really fueled up, really fired up, really angry as well. They see the other person as kind of like a safe haven. Oasis, thank you. They see the other person as a bit of a safe haven here, which is why it's like they're really not having it with this whole leaving a contract or leave or leaving a situation or or what have you. And it's causing this major release of almost everything that needs to be said. It's causing a release of all the things that this angry person has kind of kept bottled up. And it's just more and more volatile as the conversation continues. And then I feel like there's gonna be that moment of I can't make this person stay. <laughs> <laughs> like what do I have to lose now I'm just gonna say it all right it's it's that kind of energy oh I don't like that I do not like that shit that's that's very aggressive Whew. any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Oh, shit. Look what just came out. The Five of Cups. <sighs> Scorpionic energy. And this Five of Cups in this deck specifically always reminds me of someone who's really holding on. Like, not even in just a sad way, but also a little bit of like a, you know, a little bit of a maniacal way. I mean, it looks like they're casting a freaking spell, right? <laughs> it is the Spellcaster's deck. But that's what I feel every time I get this Five of Cups, right? It's like oh this is a loss no i'm not losing this i'm holding on as hard as i can to those two of cups to this situation i'm looking at all the damage and i'm still holding on for dear life right yikes any messages for aquarius oh man oh geez look at that knight of wands in reverse sag energy could also be aries or leo with the lovers in reverse gemini energy this person's really pissed off aqua whether it's you or the person you're connecting with, they're really pissed off about what's going on here. They're really pissed off about losing this connection or losing this situation. And it does feel like a relationship, I have to be honest here. And they're really angry about it. They're angry. Like they're actually angry about it because they're not, again, they're not seeing things rationally. It really feels like, what's the word I'm looking? How do I, how do I phrase this? How do I phrase this? Uh, it's like they're holding on. It's almost like, they're picking and choosing the things they remember. Thank you. They're cherry picking. Cherry picking. That's the word. There's a word for this. They're cherry picking aspects of the relationship or aspects of what's actually happened and forgetting everything else, right? It's like they're not seeing the full picture of it because they don't want to. Because if they did, they would understand that it might be in the best interest of both of you for this to kind of not continue. But they're holding on for dear life. They're holding on for dear life and it feels really unhealthy. I have to be honest, it feels really unstable and this person's really angry. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th? Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th? Whew. Oh, Aquas, Jesus. Three of Swords, Libra Energy, Saturn and Libra to be specific. Heartache. Heart oh, and I'm drawn to that little fire, a little flame on the bottom of that heart. Yeah, someone's, someone's mad. Someone's pissed. Someone's really pissed, Aqua. They're not just heartbroken, they're angry. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like, feel it, I'm feeling it. It's like, oh God, get that shit out of me. Um, they're angry. Oh, they're angry. Their heart's on fire. Any other messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Any messages for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th? Wow. Overall energy, we do have a king of pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Underneath that, we do have six of wands in reverse, Jupiter Leo energy. And then we have seven of swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, and five of wands, more Leo energy. This is a lot of shit, okay? This is a lot of shit. I do feel there's some ego involved in this. And seven of swords in reverse and the five of wands. There's been a lot of debauchery. I'm hearing debauchery. I don't know what that's about. I'm hearing actual debauchery. Um about this situation a lot of fighting a lot of backstabbing too is what i'm getting like tit for tat shit like oh you're gonna do that then i'm gonna do this oh you're gonna do that then i'm gonna do this right all the while thinking that like nothing would ever end is kind of what i'm getting too yeah and someone's just tired of it i feel like this king of pentacles is the energy that's just tired of it they're tired of it it's like uh, uh, like I, i've had enough of the crazy is like is kind of the energy that I, i'm feeling here yeah i've had enough of the crazy the other person, though, really having a hard time with it. They're really pissed off about this, and they're and they're really hurting as well. So let's go over the Five of Cups here. And like I say, guys, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just the messenger. Um, if someone's unstable, they're unstable. It just is what it is, you know. And we've all we've all had a moment of instability, right? I forget who this was. It was a comedian. Um, she came out with a special a long time, not a long time ago, but quite a while ago. I'm trying to think how many laptops ago I watched this. Uh oh. Oh, it was Monique. That's right. It was Monique. Um, I could have been your cellmate. Oh my God. You guys have to watch that. You guys have to watch that. It's hysterical if you haven't seen it. And she talks about this moment where she was, uh, and I'm not, I'm going to kill the joke. So I'm going to try to just tell the story, not try to make it funny. Um, not a good joke teller. Anyway. So she was talking about her, her second divorce. I think it was her second divorce. Yeah. I don't think it was her first one. Um, <laughs> and she, and they told her how much alimony she'd have to pay. And she's like, in that moment, <laughs> she's like, I snapped. And, the, and, and, it's like, and, she, and she said, she's like, and I believe it. Like anyone can snap. Like anyone can have that moment where it's like, you're just taken a little too close to the edge in a situation. Even if you got your shit together, even if you're a good person. And sometimes you just get pushed too far and you just fucking snap. And it's like, and sometimes you end up doing shit you really shouldn't be doing. Sometimes you end up in jail, right? Um, it's like I feel like this person's having one of those moments where it's like they're being pushed a little too far for their own comfort emotionally but at the same time whoever this king of pentacles is aqua this could very well be you I'm just saying it doesn't have to be it is a fixed energy and you are fixed um it's like <laughs> this king of pentacles I don't think is aware of that and everyone has their breaking point. I'm not trying to paint this person to be crazy. I'm not trying to paint this person to be a bad person. I just think this person's been pushed to their limit. Okay? And we've all been there. We all can relate to that. All right, let's look at the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, I was like, I could have been your cellmate. <laughs> Sorry, I like, it's such a good show. You guys have to watch that. Anyway, Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. For Aquarius, regarding love from now till October 11th. I think that's also why they were emphasizing so much in the beginning for me to say, like, it's okay, Aqua, let it go. Like, release, release, release. It's okay. It's okay. It is okay. Yeah, they want me to say that a lot for you guys for some reason. Whether you're the person who's being pushed to their limit or it's, some, you know, because someone's just giving you too much shit. I mean, this is a lot of shit to deal with, right? Or if you're the other person trying to break away and someone else feels like they're being pushed to the limit. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Talking about the Five of Cups for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. Talking about the Five of Cups for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. One more. Okay. Talking about the Five of Cups. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Not happy. Really not happy about this. Excuse me. Sorry. I like, ate lunch right before this. This is definitely over a lost love here. A lost love and what was. Yeah, it, yeah, it really feels like a long-standing situation as well. And there's been a lot of unhappiness here. I can feel it. There's been a lot of unhappiness here. A lot of fighting. 
a lot of fighting, a lot of backstabbing bullshit, a lot of like one upping too. It's like, oh, you hurt me? How much more can I hurt you? You know, it's, it's very petty stuff, very petty stuff, very toxic, very low vibrational. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air, Tower on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, this person, uh, whoever is the one is like who's really angry and putting up a fight with this. This is how they see this King of Pentacles. This is how they see the other person, okay? So there's the angry person and then there's the person just trying to get away and be very direct about it. They see this person as being manipulative. Yeah, the angry person sees the other person as being manipulative, whether it's true or not. Whether it's true or not, they're very angry. When we're angry and we're hurting like this, we're not always thinking clearly, right? But that's how they're seeing this person. As like, wow, maybe they just manipulated me the whole time. That's how this person's seeing it. Seeing this person. Talk about the Five of Cups. Talk about the Five of Cups. I do feel like this person who's angry, though, I do feel like, again, I'm trying not to paint them in a bad light. I'm just a messenger. We've all been through rough moments and rough breakups and rough arguments. Um, I do feel like this person is projecting a little bit. They're seeing the other person as being very manipulative. But at the same time, I feel like they're being kind of controlling. You know, because like they're gripping so hard. They want to kind of control the situation, even though they they think they can, even though they know they can't, even though they know they can't. So I'm about the five of cups. Two of pentacles in reverse, cappy energy. Yeah, I mean, this person feels really upset. This person's really angry because they're looking at the other person like they're very disloyal, like they're manipulative and that they're being dropped by this person. Like I just, I just heard hot potato. Yeah, this angry person feels like they're being dropped like a hot potato. So I got the five of cups for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. All right, overall energy. Wow, four swords, Libra energy. The Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this person who's angry, like this is what I mean, guys, where it's like they're kind of being pushed to their limit. They felt like they they had the Ten of Cups. They felt like they had the Ten of Cups, but in all reality, look, look, look. Like this is what it's been. Seven of Swords, Universe, and the Five of Wands. That's a lot of combative, deceitful, again, tit for tat kind of energy. But this person in their head is like, no, this is my Ten of Cups. 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 But that Four of Swords also tells me that there's a bit of a break here and a bit of a separation. I feel like these two energies have already been kind of at odds for a while. Not very close. Yeah, I don't feel like they've been very close, at least in, in uh, proximity. There's been a break here, but this, this angry person is like, no, this is my Ten of Cups. This is my Ten of Cups, which is why they don't want to let it go. They don't want to let it go. Even if they, even though they already feel like it's at a loss, they still don't want to let it go, even though they see this person in such a negative light. That's what I mean. This person's not thinking clearly. This person's not thinking clearly, but they're so angry about this. They're so angry about this and really, really freaking hurt. Okay. Really, really hurt. Um, God, I'm like, where, do, where would I even go with this? Knight of Wands. All right. Thank you. Let's go with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Look at the Knight of Wands in reverse. And we'll look at the Three of Swords. Okay. Um, mm. Gilded, we'll do gilded. Tell the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius. Tell the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius. I also feel like this King of Pentacles uh, has known for a while they haven't been happy. It's like, especially with the Six of Wands in reverse right underneath them. They really feel like there's something here where they're not really getting their needs met. Yeah, they're not getting their needs met and they want to get their needs met. So they're just doing, they're just doing what they think is in their best interest, okay? They want their Ten of Cups and they don't feel like they have it. But the angry person feels like the King of Pentacles is their Ten of Cups, which is why they're holding on so hard and having a really hard time with this. Time about the Knight of Wands in reverse. Time about the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Time about the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Time of the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now. Oh, <laughs> half the deck just fell out of my hands. Hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. Time of the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. Time of the Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. Let's see here. 
Oh, what did I say? Control. Moon in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader with the strength card Leo energy. They want to control this. And that's the truth. That's the truth. They want to control the situation because they're holding on for dear life for it. They see the other person as a bit of a, like I said, a little bit of a safe haven, a little bit of an oasis. And the other person just wants to break free from this. And they're like, no, I got to control this somehow. I got to control this somehow. I feel a little bit of emotional manipulation here too. And it's funny because they're pointing the finger at the other person like, no, you're manipulative. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's kind of a big question mark. Like this person is not thinking clearly. They are the ones who want to control this. They want to control the situation. I feel like they kind of have been controlling the situation through emotional manipulation. And now that shit's hitting the fan and they realize they're losing this person, they point the finger real damn quick. No, you manipulated me. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. I shouldn't laugh at that. But it's a little comical. It's a little comical. Talking about Knight of Wands in reverse. Oh, Jesus. Aqua, what did you get yourself into? Talking about Knight of Wands in reverse. Talking about Knight of Wands in reverse for Aquarius regarding love. Okay. Now we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. This is letting go of the drama. And I'm also getting a huge release with this. A huge argumentative, aggressive, word vomity kind of release here of like, you're really going to step out? You're really going to step out? Well, let me tell you the truth. You know, it feels like that. It feels a lot like that. It feels a lot like that. Ugh. Overall energy, temperance in reverse, sag energy, imbalance, page of cups in reverse, emotional deceit. I'm also getting emotional manipulation with this. Yeah, I like... Ugh. Guys, who, and again, I'm not trying to paint this person in a bad light. We've all had our moments, but this is someone who is very much out of balance, they feel like they've been they feel like they've been deceived. They feel like they've been manipulated even though they've been emotionally manipulative and controlling in the situation here. And it's like on the way out they're really given the hard truth here. And it feels very like very tactless, very very blunt, very very blunt. Yeah, this is a huge argument. This is a huge explosion because someone's just like had enough of the crazy. Oh. Someone's had enough of the someone's had enough of an emotional manipulation and they're letting someone go that really is just combative and they're really angry about being let go and they turn around and point the finger at the other person and it just creates an even bigger argument and a really big fat explosive release wow let's look at this three of swords oh this is stressing me out aqua uh let's do this one i really like this deck okay so i got the three of swords Talk about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love. From now till October 11th. Talk about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. Come on. Talk about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now till October 11th. Okay. Talk about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now to star in reverse Aquarian energy. There's no faith here. There's no faith here. And this is a very like, almost like malnourished kind of situation. It's like, it's very dry, like a desert, very dry, like a desert here. And I feel like it's actually the energy of the person who's so angry. There's something about them where it's like, they don't have like their own emotional nourishment is what I'm getting with this. And I think that's why they clung to this King of Pentacles so hard because they saw them as an oasis, as a little bit of a safe haven. And they're really fucking pissed off they're losing their oasis. I'm also having a little bit of depression here. I heard, I just heard mania again. That's funny because I was getting manic energy before. I just heard mania. So I'm at Three of Swords. I'm just the messenger. I'm not diagnosing shit. I'm not diagnosing people. I'm just the messenger. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Tell me about the Three of Swords for Aquarius regarding love from now to October 11th. Ooh, four of wands 
Aries energy. Yeah, someone is just has lost a lot of faith in this connection, this relationship, this foundation, and pretty freaking heartbroken. Pretty freaking heartbroken about it as well. They're still not letting it go. In their head, it's like, ooh. Okay, let's not go there. Let's not go there. That feels a little, feels a little, I'm not, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. I'm not going there. How about three of swords? Don't worry about it. I just heard you guys go, tell us, tell us. Tell. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Tell me about three of swords. Tell me about three of swords for Aquarius regarding love from now until October 11th. Tell me about three of swords for Aquarius regarding love. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air with the Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and then the Page of Swords, okay? Yeah, this is some harsh truth of I'm out, I'm done, and I feel like it's the King of Pentacles who's breaking away while this other person here is this Knight of Wands essentially is really kind of angry about it, freaking out and, and not coping well, not coping well with this heart. It's a truth. It's a truth. It's a truth. It's a truth. This king has given the truth to this person and they're really angry about it and they're really heartbroken about it. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be Earth and uh, Fire with the Two of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Soulmate energy for me as a reader. And then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse with the Two of Pentacles in reverse here, okay? Uh, two of Pentacles in reverse is Cappy energy and that's double confirmation here. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's heartbreaking, right? Because this is a soulmate connection. This is a very deep connection here. Some could even be going into another connection, not necessarily, but it's like there's something here about healing and growing, both Ace of Swords in verse and Two of Pentacles in verse. Someone feels very lied to. Someone feels lied to. I, yeah, I feel like this angry person might even accuse this King of Pentacles of being like, oh, I thought we were working on this. I thought we were working on this. I thought we were healing this. I thought you wanted to work on this. It's like, oh, did you just lie to me? Did you just lie to me because you're just dropping me like a hot potato? It's like, that's how that feels. Oh, Aquas, I know. This is like, this is some yick, yicky. I don't know what yicky is. Yucky and icky. <laughs> Yucky and icky. It's a little bit of icky energy, right? It's like, you've got someone who really wants to break away because they're not happy. It's a situation of a lot of back and forth, petty bullshit, right? It's like, this king's had enough and the person leaving behind really can't let it go. And they like point the finger at them. A lot of drama ensues. I thought you wanted to work on this. You lied to me. You lied to me. Oh, shit. I mean, it's, I can feel it. It's a big, big, fat, explosive, fat tower. Okay? A fatty, fat tower. Um, let's go ahead and get some advice here, Aqua. This is very combative energy. I might even sage after this. I might even sage after this. This is intense. Yeah, I really feel accusations of, I thought you wanted to work on this. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Yeah, again, just let it go. Just let the release happen. Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Not worth, not worth your sanity, right? Like aqua, if you're the one getting left behind here, or like if you're the one who's like angry and putting up a fight, it's not worth your sanity. It's not worth your sanity. Any advice for my aquas? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Okay. Any advice for my aquas? Ooh, no, that's too many. I'm not making those. It was like six. It was a lot. Any advice for my aquas regarding this spread? Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. Horse spirit, freedom is yours with the energy of 33 and master number. And then we have, ooh, very nice combination. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. 67, breaking down to a four. And eagle spirit, spirit has your back. 23, breaking down to a five. I really feel strongly that this is the energy of the person who's trying to just break away not the person who's angry but the person who's just trying to break away it's like they're trying so hard to exercise wisdom and maturity here to really break free and go towards what's going to make them happy and go to get away from very petty low vibrational tit for tat kind of bullshit 
And spirit really is also pushing for this to happen. This king of pentacles might even be very divinely guided to make this happen, but this is a wise choice. It's a wise choice. It's a wise move. Um, it, and it leads to stability. It leads to stability. Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice? Ooh, wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. 64 cyclical energy. This cycle... This situation has to be closed out. It is toxic. It ain't good for either one of you, okay? And it is painful. It is painful. Someone feels like they're getting dropped. Someone feels like they've been manipulated. The other person feels like they've been emotionally manipulated. All the while, there's this tit-for-tat petty nonsense going on. It's it, It's got to stop. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Aquas, I think you already know. I feel like a lot of you are the king of pentacles. Now, like I said, it can be vice versa. Any other advice? Yeah, frog spirit, another cyclical energy to close this out, clear out the clutter. Yeah, it, it's time to get this toxic situation out of your life, Aqua, or just, or again, release it. <sighs> release it, release it. Any other advice for my Aquas regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Aquas regarding this spread? Oh, Wow. Overall, we have Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. 32, breaking down to a 5. We now have the 23 and the 32. Mirror numbers, it's backwards for me, so I can't tell like, which way to hold it. Hold on. Oh, yeah. No, that is right. <laughs> that is right. That is right. Hawk Spirit, let Spirit be your guide. This is interesting because I feel like the Eagle and the Hawk are very much like sister totems. A little bit here. A little bit like sister totems. And on the bottom, we have Time for Beginner Mind. Uh, with porcupine spirit uh, with 48 that breaks down to a three here this is about taking on a new perspective going on a new journey going on a new adventure beaver spirit right underneath that putting in the hard work to do it as well making those hard decisions making those very mature decisions those wise decisions for some of you i feel like you have a couple guides kind of guiding you through this others of you might have a ally a friend or a family member helping you along the way here but i definitely feel sister energies here like sister energies and we have the mirror numbers also like for this whole past year um, for those counterpart situations, for those that that applies to, the masculine and the feminine have both come up as eagle and hawk quite a bit in this last year, um, as far as energies being harnessed is concerned. So for some of you, there is an ally guiding you through this. It could even be the energy of a counterpart. Whether you're talking to them or not, it could be their higher self. Yes, I just got a huge yes from spirit. Yeah, some of you, you're having a counterpart, their higher self guiding you out of a situation here, okay? So just listen to that, but that's not for everyone. You know who you are, okay? The telepathy will, will basically be like bugging you a lot either way this is a lot of spiritual guidance to get you out of the situation to close out the toxicity here to close out the crazy get this out of your life because it is the mature thing to do and both of you both parties deserve to be free of this and deserve to have that fun and, and happiness back in their life okay oh aquas i know this was tough i know this was a tough read um but either way it's insight right it's insight and it will be very helpful you will eventually get to a 10 of cups, happy, happy place, okay? No one deserves to be in this kind of situation. Nobody. Mentally stable or not, no one deserves to be in this kind of a situation. Um, so anyways, anyway, guys, I hope this was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aquas. Namaste.